Well, obviously, we haven't achieved the kind of things we want to achieve this year. Uh, we haven't won as much as we wanted to win. I thought this team got stale, and I thought it needed some freshness. I thought it needed uh, to go in a little bit of a different direction. And by doing this, uh, we get some players that can help us for the rest of this season, and it really gives us a lot of flexibility down the road as far as salary cap uh, issues are concerned. What do you tell the guys? For is this enough freshness, do you think? Well, we'll see. You know, we still have the trade deadline. There's still a lot of conversations going on, and uh, we've added some new pieces. But uh, you know, anytime you make some change, it gives you a little bit of a rejuvenation. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're still uh, exploring things and having conversations with other teams. Is this essentially a two-month tryout for these guys? I mean, do you, do you anticipate? Is it too early to anticipate holding on to, to Howard or Gooden? Well, obviously, those players have had some very successful uh, seasons in this league, and they're proven NBA players. They're going to get an opportunity to play here, and we'll see what they can do. And uh, during the summer, we're going to evaluate everything to see how uh, the pieces fit together and see what other options we have. How tough could it be to trade Antoine, given what he means to this franchise and city? Well, we're not going to get into any specific players. You know, obviously, I respect all the players on this team, and. You know, I had great respect for Teron Butler and Brendan Haywood and Deshaun the, and the things they did for us. But at this time, you know, I just felt like we needed to go in a, in a different direction and, uh, and make some changes because uh, we weren't performing up to uh, what we feel we need to perform up to. Ernie, is this tough for you personally just because, you know, you brought these guys here, the big three. I mean, you planned and hoped to win with these guys. What is this like for you that you have to dismantle it? Well, we have won with them, you know, but everything uh, – has an end and everything takes its course. You know, the players tell us what they do by their performance and uh, and how, how well they play together and how, how much the team wins. It's really all about uh, wins and losses. We had a real nice run here for four years of making the playoffs. You know, last year uh, we had the injuries to Gilbert and Brendan and not much anybody could do about it. And this year was one of those years where we had high expectations. Uh, we made some trades in the off season that we felt were gonna help us with uh, Randy Foy and Mike Miller. And I think most people picked us to be one of the top four or five teams in, in the East and win between 45 and 50 games. And that just didn't happen for a variety of reasons. Obviously, we had injuries early on to, to Antoine, Mike Miller, Randy Foy. And then the situation in the locker room didn't, didn't help us either. And now we don't have our best player uh, for the remainder of the year. So a lot of things just happened that, that really were out of our hands, out of our control. But the bottom line is uh, this is the NBA, and you want to win and put the best possible team out there. And I, don't, I just don't think this group was meshing very well. I thought we played a selfish basketball, and uh, we didn't win as much as we'd like to win. If How much does this move mortgage the team's future, just in the next couple of years, even this year? Well, I don't think it mortgages the, the future in any way. I think, it, as a matter of fact, it, it helps us uh, going forward uh, because it gives us a lot more cap flexibility. And, uh, you know, our record this year was uh, 17 and 34 at the time we made the trade. Uh, we had some good players on the team, and for whatever reason, they just didn't come together the way we had hoped it would. Ernie, if you don't make another move or two between now and Thursday afternoon, will you be disappointed? Well, not necessarily. You know, we want to see what this group does. You know, if you don't make a move between now and Thursday, there's also opportunities to do things during the summer. So that's just life in the NBA. You know, a lot of teams are out there talking. A lot of teams want to make moves. And uh, I thought the thing we did uh, is going to be good for our team uh, in the long haul. What would you like to see from this group for the second half of the season? Oh, well, we just want to see this group come together, play hard, be competitive, and do the best job they possibly can. Is that going to satisfy you what, with all the trades and everything, just seeing that? Are you kind of looking more towards the future? Well, we're going to give our younger guys an opportunity to show what they can do. We're going to evaluate everybody. Uh, for the last 30 games and see how this whole situation comes together. And uh, we want to see who we want to go forward with. Uh, we will have cap flexibility. We're going to have opportunities to add, a, add somebody in the offseason if we choose to do it this offseason. And uh, we'll see which one of these players will go forward with us.